Wentworth Club, one of the most celebrated golfing venues in all of Great Britain, will once more play host to the BMW PGA Championship next month, the first event of the 2018 Rolex Series. Through the years, the club has undergone several renovations and this year is no different. The last couple of years here at Wentworth have been the biggest changes in our history. You know, we've changed the golf course, we've changed the clubhouse, we're just about to relaunch it. Um, and there's more to come. We've been here 96 years now. A few things needed changing, but the development has been well worth the wait. I can't wait to come back. It's really the start of our summer on the European Tour. And um, it's so strong now, the schedule with the Rolex Series events, which the BMW kicks off. Yeah, it's a strong field. Usually the weather behaves and the crowds come out, so hopefully this year will be no different. I think you look around Wentworth and you look around here and you go, this is, this is a special place. I mean, the heather looks beautiful at the moment. The golf course is fantastic. It's really the start of the summer social season, you know, in the sporting events. It's the first big professional tournament in the UK of the season. And 30 years of playing it here. I mean, the heritage is fantastic. And that brings a special something to this tournament. At the moment, we're rebuilding the club, so uh, it's different to a normal year here at Wentworth. We're doing the interior of the clubhouse at the moment, complete refit from the front door to the back. So we've been going for about eight months now, and we'll be ready for the PGA Championship. Wentworth only do things five stars, so it's going to be amazing. I haven't seen inside yet. I can't wait to have a look at it, but um, it's exciting. It's exciting because it's going to be, you know, really wonderful inside there. It'll, it'll be a, a real Wentworth, I think, new chapter. 2016 champion Chris Wood and Mike Rutherford of Genesis fame were at Wentworth to help launch the event's two official charities. They are Diabetes UK and the European Tour Foundation. The European Tour choose a different charity every year and I think Diabetes UK are a very worthy cause, obviously. They are being highlighted on the European Tour this year. It's not always a cause that everybody knows enough about and it affects a lot of people. So uh, I think they're going to get a lot of press this year. Hopefully um, they'll raise a lot of money. For us, of course, you know, we're a charity and we want to raise funds to try and support our work. And that's a big part of what we'll do through this partnership. But you know, we're an organisation of 300 or so people spread across the UK. There's 4 million people living with diabetes, 12 million people are at risk of it. Now, we, we can't possibly get our message out there on our own. We need to work with partners to do that. I mean, the profile that this will give the charity is so valuable to us, and it will really help us, as I say, raise awareness and help more people. We're here for um, launching the charity for the BMW PJ, Diabetes UK, along with the European Tour Foundation. As you can see, loads of kids behind playing golf. The charity side has become a massive part of the tournament now. So to come here for the day and spend a bit of time with them and you know, promote the charity is, from a player's point of view, is the least we can do. What a privilege to meet Chris in the flesh. I mean, uh, it's, it's fantastic and he seems to be getting really into it. He's come all the way from Bristol just for this, so we feel very honoured actually to have him here. Um, and again, it's, it's really important, I think, for the children to see someone in his position as a role model, actually, that they can aspire to be like in the future. Um, I'm sure lots of them will be going home from today with, with many a story to, 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 and, and many a memory, actually, that will draw on, I'm sure, in the future. It's a chance to bring, well, first of all, awareness throughout the whole week. You know, interviews, chat, a bit of press. And during the week, there'll be, there'll be various things uh, involved, raising money for the, for the charity. What's also special is seeing this event here, is seeing kids and sport. Because diabetes, the treatment of it, the more activity you do, the more sports you do, the better for your sugar levels. So in a sense, sport is a great, great marriage for diabetes. Chris and Mike have brought, you know, they've brought some glamour to the occasion. Chris is obviously a Ryder Cup player and he's a really nice guy and he's had a great time with the children. And Mike's just a legend. I mean, you know, from my, my era, Genesis were one of my, my favourite bands of all time when I was growing up. So, you know, I look at him and go, well, he's, he's had a life and obviously an ambassador for Diabetes UK. It's nice to see 20 or 30 kids running around the putting green here at Wentworth. I've seen it over the years, the last 10 or 12 years, and seeing them come back years later saying, this is where I started my golfing career or my golfing life, it's really nice to, to hear that later on in life. I think it's the best tournament in the world. It has everything that I could possibly want from a golf tournament and more because the content is so good. The golf is our central product, our players are the stars, but we've built up you know, a huge amount around it. So if you're not a golf fan, if you just want to go to an occasion, want to go to an event, this is a place to come because there's so much to do. Uh, the village, you can spend the whole day there. You can still watch golf on the big screen, but you can spend the whole day doing things. You could have 
You can have putting lessons, you can have golf lessons, you can go and sample all of the atmosphere of the village, great shopping, great food and drink. Oh, it's great to have.